Oh, hello, boys and girls. What's the haps? It's a Monday. Garfield's least favorite day. Upon us again. But, let's try to cheer Garfield up. Let's, let's give Garfield something to look forward to, right? What are you guys doing today? How's every little thing? You guys ready to get your relaxation in? You know, I think at least once a day, you have to go out of your way to get your relaxation in. You can't not relax. It's gonna be probably a shorter stream today. Uh, I don't know how much mileage I'm gonna be getting out of what we're playing. And also I have nothing in my notes. We're gonna try GeoGuessr first, and I've never- I've never even touched this, I truly don't even know what it is. I'm guessing... I think maybe I watched PewDiePie play it once, I think you're just- it, it drops you in a random location on Google Maps. And you have to figure out where you are. Um... And then we can, you know, if we run out of entertainment from that, we can play the uh, the push the button game, which I have played before, but I think that game has like, I I, I think the content is like user generated, so there's no there's no end to that game, probably pretty much. Uh, I have a question for you, Max. All right, well, what is <laughs> what is your question? You shouldn't have asked your question. You shouldn't have prompted me by saying I have a question. You should have just asked your question right away because now when you ask your question, I might not see it. But I did see that. What, what you just said then, I did see that comment. Now I'll never know what the question is. But we'll see. We'll see if I Hi, see Max. the question. Hi. If you're having a good Monday so far. Eh. I slept until noon. Epic. Stream time. Mwah. Mwah. I haven't slept till noon. Since I was, like, 19. I've probably told this before, I've probably explained this before, but when I moved from the East Coast to the West Coast, I found it so much easier to wake up earlier in the morning. I guess my whole life, I've just basically been living on West Coast time. Because now, it's like, I'll well, say, so, you know, I go to bed every night at, like, midnight, and I wake up around, like, 7. It's great. I wake up when the world wakes up. It's better to wake up with the sun, you know? It's better to be awake during the day and go to sleep at night. That is better. It is the better way to do it. Actually, you know what? I don't have it written in my notes, but I think... Wolf, go away. Come on. I've only just started. You gotta go the fuck away. Leave me alone. <laughs> go the fuck away! I think I read earlier on Twitter, um... Keanu Reeves is gonna be Shadow the Hedgehog. I can't believe that. Keanu Reeves Hi, as Max. the Can shadow. I, a kiss? I promise I'll give it back. Mwah. Thank you for the super chat. Now listen, I love Keanu. Wolf, I'll go away. I literally just sat down. Listen, I love Keanu as much as the next guy. I, I really do like Keanu. I like him in everything that I see him in. Um, I even liked him in that SpongeBob movie that he was in, where the joke was pretty much just he's Keanu Reeves in the SpongeBob movie. Um. But as Shadow the Hedgehog? I don't know if that fits. I don't know if he's a good fit for that. Keanu Reeves as Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know if I can hear it. I don't know if I hear Shadow in his voice when he speaks. I feel like Shadow is supposed to be gravelier. Keanu Reeves has a... He has a beautiful, deep man voice, but I wouldn't call it gravelly. Um, I think after all these years, I think my favorite voice that Shadow has ever had... Still, when he was in Sonic Adventure 2. How are they gonna work Shadow into the? Is is this is this third Sonic movie basically just gonna be like adapting the story of Sonic Adventure 2? Because that whole story kind of revolves around Shadow. So I don't know how they're gonna work him in without just it being like Sonic Adventure 2 the movie, you know? Just like a direct adaptation of that game. I know I've for sure said this before, I think I've even said this recently, but I really liked Shadow in that game, but I, I was never crazy about the way they chose to bring him back after they killed him off at the end of that game. <laughs> I hope the bio lizard shows up, that's right. At the end of that game, they fight a big gross lizard in space. And he's the ultimate life form. The ultimate life form. I am the ultimate life form. 
I don't remember. Why is it that Shadow is the ultimate life form and the Bio Lizard is also the ultimate life form? How did that shake out? It can't be both of them! It's gotta be one. You gotta make up your mind. Shadow, you got competition. <laughs> also... I, if there was such a thing as an ultimate life form, I have a hard time believing it would be Shadow the Hedgehog or a giant gross space lizard. I don't think it would be either of those things. This I know we've definitely talked about. This I remember us talking about. <laughs> Poor Shadow. Like I said, short stream today. I don't know if it's just going to be like an hour or maybe like an hour and a half or what, but... Oh, let me stretch. Let me stretch before I get into this. We do have to get into it. You can't pussyfoot around all day. We have to get into it. What, are we just going to sit around talking about Shadow the Hedgehog for the next 45 minutes? Well, I don't see why not. What is your favorite thing Max, about Shadow maybe the Hedgehog? you should voice Shadow. Who is your favorite pony from My Little Pony? Oh. Also, can I have a kiss with Tun? You know what? Just for that, uh, mods, can you t can you time Zacky out for 10 minutes? Zacky is getting a little Flatulence. too frisky. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for super chatting flatulence. I'm sorry, Zacky, you're gonna have to be timed out. You've been warned about the uh, the lascivious super chats. Mods, can you time Zach? Do I have any mods on my stream today? That's gonna be a problem when my mods showed up all at once. But you know what? Even if that did happen, the show must go on. The show must go on. My favorite thing about Shadow is his red hair. His hair is red and black. Which I was going to make a joke about, but I guess that really does shake out that way some way in, in the real world as well. Because if I remember that... You know, I'm completely shaven all over my big dopey dumb head. But the hair on my head is like a dark brown. The hair that I grow in my beard is like a... is like kind of a reddish brown. So I have different colors of hair all over my body. I don't know why that happens. I wonder if that's like a weird freak thing. Am I a freak? Am I a freak for that? Does that make me freaky freaky? Who's your favorite pony in My Little Pony? None of them. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. They're all the same. I'm very prejudiced against ponies. <laughs> They're all the same, swarming into our country, taking our dying jobs. I say we send them all back where they came from. Equestria. Go home, we don't want you here. Right? That's the bit. Put a kibosh on the super chats. Una memento, por favor. Everybody, please bow your heads and clasp your hands. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you feel it helps, go for it. Dear Relaxus, please help to relax us. Help us to sit back, unwind, unstress, decompress, breathe easy, hang loose, cool off, loosen up, and simmer down. Please bless us with mellow moods and chill vibes as we hang out, shoot the shit, and just straight kick it. Give us the strength to ignore politics, drama, and the tragedies of our modern world, and grant us the serenity to forgive those on social media who post things that make us triggered, upset, and emotionally compromised. And as always, help me to wish harmony to those who wish harm on me. Amen. Let's finish off our prayer by doing some square breathing. This is when you inhale and outhale at similar intervals. Yes, outhale is a word. You can look it up at dictionary.com. <laughs> we're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a count of eight. If you can't breathe through your nose, using your mouth is fine too. Starting off in through the nose. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. (sighs) 
Oh wait, I forgot to turn the desktop audio down. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, we had to we had to say our prayers while listening to the music today. I hope that wasn't too distracting. <laughs> Was that mostly fine? Did that bother Wikipedia you guys? says you're bisexual. This true? Yes, but we're not talking about it. I've talked about it enough. How many more times do I have to talk about being bisexual? When is enough for you people? It's enough. I didn't even notice. Hey, well, there you go. You guys didn't even notice. Usually I turn the desktop audio down so you can't hear the, uh, the ocean ambiance or the, uh, the Hawaiian music. But today I forgot. <laughs> I don't know if anyone asked you this, but have you played Helldivers 2 yet? I haven't even played Helldivers 1! I don't even know what Helldivers is! I'm sure it's great. Actually, you know what? Hey Max, let's get Tom Waits a Shadow the Hedgehog. Would you rather be a unicorn, a pegasus, or an earth pony? Guys, it's Praying time- with the music is fine, dude. <laughs> Guys, it's time to stop asking me questions about My Little Pony, for fart's sake. I cannot think of anything. I cannot think of a single solitary thing that is less relevant to me. I cannot think of anything that I care about less in the year, <laughs> in the year of our Lord 2024. What is Helldivers 2? The success of Helldivers 2 just shows how bad the gaming industry has become. <laughs> well, this guy's not a fan. What kind of a game is this? I guess if it got a sequel, the first one must have been popular. Helldivers 2 is a 2024 cooperative third-person... Okay, so it's recent. Co cooperative third-person shooter game developed by Arrowhead Game Studios and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. What is just regular Helldivers? And when did that come out? The video game industry encompasses so much these days. Oh, this is from 2015. I have no excuse for not hearing of this. Genre, shoot 'em up. Well, I do like to shoot in that direction. Up. The video game industry encompasses so damn much these days that, like, shit just goes completely under my radar. Like, I always know what Nintendo is doing. And usually I, usually I hear about, like, fun indie games, but I guess this isn't an indie game. Helldivers Dive Harder. Is that, like, the definitive edition? Probably. Now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Helldivers is a hardcore cooperative twin-stick shooter. Nope, don't play it. Don't play the trailer. As part of the elite unit called the Helldivers, players must work together to protect Super Earth. <laughs> Super Earth? Come on, Super Earth? There ain't no such thing as Super Earth. What, the regular Earth ain't super enough? And defeat the enemies of mankind in an intense intergalactic war. Now, when you say the enemies of mankind, who could that be, I wonder? Oh, this is like a this is like a top-down overhead game. Yeah, I guess it is. I'm not seeing anything first person. Hmm. Do you like Pikmin? You should draw yourself as one. I love Pikmin. I'm a huge Pikmin fan. God, Pikmin is great. I need to do a Pikmin stream one of these days. I guess I'll have to. But also, I've played them all so much, I don't know if... I don't know if I want to replay any of them. Pikmin 4 was great. They dropped the ball on the story in that game. The story in that game was not even coherent. Um... And I know that Pikmin games usually... Usually, they, they have pretty simple stories. But it seemed like in Pikmin 4, they wanted to try doing something a little more complicated, and they, it, they just completely blew it. And then you, you, you think the game, as you're playing Pikmin 4, you think the story is, like, building to something. Um, it seems, like, very mysterious, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, for fart's sake. Stop! Stop! I don't want to watch trailers. Um, 
And then towards the end of that game, you suddenly realize it dawns in you, wait a minute, this is all just nonsense. There's no, there's no mystery here. Everything that's happening in this story is true nonsense. Whereas, like, Pikmin 1... Pikmin 1 is just like, the story is you're stranded and you need to get home. And it's simple, but it's effective. Pikmin 2 Red is just is like, oh, you're trying to get money. In beards. It's recessive in head hair. Plenty of ginger beards and brown hair here in Ireland. Oh, well, I'm part Irish then, so... Makes perfect sense. I'm part Irish on my mother's side. Oh, the life of a mutt. The life of a mixed-raced mutt. Helldivers, you know what? I'll look into it, maybe check it out. I'll look into it. That's the best I can do. I was promising to look into it. Somebody get these damn birds out of here! Shoot. <sighs> oh, shoot. What is this? Where did these AI-generated images of Sonic come from? All over my desktop? Who put these here? You know, I'm gonna have to be the one to clean these up. Every damn time. Well... You can gangbang it and get it over with, I guess. You might as well. <laughs> the first, first Sonic of the day, this is a Sonic meme. This is an AI-generated meme. This is what AI thinks humor is. When you get paid on Friday and re-eyes... Reals. It's on my birthday. It's oh my birthday. And we have Sonic running, and he's holding a a bracelet with money <laughs> with money in it. Did he buy the bracelet with the money? Why are there only three? Well, some people think that the AI Sonic categorization can uh, can tend to drag. So you know we can do this it, it, on on days when the on, on days when we want to get through it quick we can do fewer Sonics I think. No, he stole it. You think he stole this? Sonic isn't a thief. You accuse Sonic of being a thief. You say j'accuse with your big finger pointing right in his face, and you say he's a he's a thief. Sonic would never. Clearly. What happened? He got a lot of money. He went to a jewelry store and <laughs> and bought a a gold diamond encrusted bracelet, which would be worth a small fortune, you know, worth a big fortune, frankly. Um. And this money, <clears throat> excuse me, this money, this is his change because he paid in cash, and so they gave him change. But Sonic wouldn't buy jewelry. Sonic buying jewelry pretty much betrays... Also, he has two tails. A Sonic character with two tails? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, what was I saying? Sonic buying jewelry betrays pretty much everything that I know about him. I don't, I don't think of him as wanting to buy jewelry. I don't think he would care about something so superficial. But he is, he does look very happy. He looks very happy about his purchase. And also, I guess from this we can glean that Sonic's birthday is on a Friday. Because he got paid on Friday. And also, it's his birthday. He literally collects rings all day? He does! He's He is a ring collector. But I think those are currency. I don't think they're... I, I, I don't think the rings in the Sonic universe are, uh are decorative. I don't think they're jewelry. I think they're currency. But where... Where would a Sonic like this go? Hmm. The rings are meant to teleport him around? Isn't that just in the movie? The rings, the rings turn him into supersonic when he collects 50 of them. He also needs the Chaos Emeralds. Also, I, you know what? I guess it's the Chaos Emeralds that really do it. Hey, Max, do you know slash can speak Italian? I'm sorry, I don't... I have no, uh... 
I have no uh, I have no conversational Italian skills. Sometimes when I hear it, I can understand it though. But also, I, I can do the same thing with Spanish. So like sometimes I'll hear a Spanish or Italian sentence, and I'll be like, "Oh, I know what that meant." Can I respond to it? No, definitely not. And also, sometimes somebody might speak in Italian or Spanish, and I just have no idea what they meant. Uh, this is weird. It's a weird Sonic. I don't, you know, I don't like the idea of Sonic <laughs> buying jewelry. Next up, this is a cool image. This image is so cool. I think this is from Twitter. It's from one of the AI Sonic Twitters that I follow. This is a badass Sonic. This is Sonic with a lot on his mind. Sonic, Sonic looking very forlorn. Sonic saying, I'm fed up with this world. I'm tired of these people. Tired of getting caught up in the tangle of their lives. It's not way past cool anymore. <laughs> Sounds like a shadow thing. Yeah, but we all have those moments. Where we're sick of people and being caught up in the tangle of their lives. He's becoming a villain. This is Sonic saying, I feel the pull. I feel the pull to the dark side. I've been a good guy for long enough. It's time to do something for myself for once. Sonic, no. Sonic, no! Sonic, you can't. Don't you see? Sonic, you can't. You can't do this. Blue pupils? Yeah. I, I, you know, I've said this before. I do like blue pupils on Sonic. I like almost every color of pupil on Sonic except for green. What can I say? I'm just old-fashioned like that. Uh, this image is cool. This is a very cool Sonic. And with the cool Sonics it goes. Last Sonic of the day. Here we have Sonic Schoolhouse on Ninten <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo Gon Q. You know, the Nintendo Gon Q. Gon Q. We all love the Nintendo Gon Q. It's a classic console. I don't think that was the logo. I think that's more like the Dreamcast logo or something. Rated E for everyone seems appropriate. Now, uh, what's interesting about this is, even though this was not the box art, um, Sonic Schoolhouse was a real game. And I want to play it, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's currently accessible anymore. I don't know if I could get it running on my PC. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that. Sonic Schoolhouse was a very, very old CD-ROM game. Yeah, some, you know, a few of you Zoomers, you might not remember this, but... Um, before the internet was was very mainstream, before, before high-speed internet where you could download games, if you wanted to play a game on your PC, computers used to have... <laughs> they used to have these things... Tell us the story, Grandpa Max. Well, okay, I'll tell you. Computers used to have these things called optical drives. Every computer had an optical drive. You'd push a button, a little tray would come out. You'd put the CD in there. And there was a game called Sonic Schoolhouse. And this supposedly was the game that inspired Baldi's Basics. It was an educational game. And I want to try it out. I really want to play it. I just don't know if I could get it running on my PC because it's so very old. I would also have to pirate it because I'm sure there's no other way to get it other than pirating it. Um... I need to- I should look into that. I also want to do, uh, I want to do a series where I play a bunch of Sonic fan games and then rank them. Because there's also a bunch of Sonic fan games that I haven't tried. I've heard some of them are good. Um... What's that one- what's that one fan game that everybody talks about? I want to say Sonic 3D Blast, but that's not it. Sonic- Sonic Blasts in 3D? Sonic Blast 2? Something like that? 
I really want to say Sonic 3D Blast. But Sonic 3D Blast is just something else entirely. That's just a Genesis game. Sonic Robo Blast, there it is. Thank you. Thank you to... Who was the one who said it first? Stinky Wizzleteats. Yeah, I've heard that's great. I've never touched it. Good old Stinky Wizzleteats. He always brings us some. Man, so many things I want to play. Maybe I should start doing, like, Sonic Monday, where every Monday I do a Sonic thing. Oh, shoot, but that's right. I was thinking about doing React Monday, where I just react to things. Guys, what would you like better, React Mondays or Sonic Mondays? Which one of those sounds better to you? Oof, it might be split. Might be pretty easy, pretty evenly split. I'll have to hold a poll. I, I I'll have to hold a poll. I'm not really getting an answer just by looking at the chat. You guys are flip flopping. There's a lot of flip flopping going on. <sighs> I never thought I would become a React streamer, but you know what? I can't help it. I just have so many fascinating and entertaining reactions. <laughs> I'm just so entertaining when I react to things. I need more slop in my life. Do people refer to reacting as slop? It kind of is. I think I've seen, uh, I think... I think when I, when I watch Pyrocynical streams, I think people are always referring to him as making slop. But also, like, reacting to things can be interesting, it can be funny. Like, usually when there's a new Nintendo Direct, Sometimes, after I watch the direct, I'll like... I'll watch like a, a content creator that I like react to it, so I can see how they responded to all of the... all of the things that they announced. React to Battle for Dream Island? I don't even know what that is. Uh, this is cute. This is a cute image. In with the cute Sonics it goes! Oh, how I do enjoy a cute Sonic! Battle for Dream Island. Oh, I've seen whatever this is. I don't know if I want to react to it, though. 97% of people liked this TV show. Damn! This is popular. Is it basically just like... Total Drama Island, but all of the characters are like... Inanimate objects? Is that a... Is that a pretty good summation? That's a pretty good way to wrap it up. Total Drama Island, but with... Tennis balls and pencils and... <laughs> and erasers. <laughs> I have to be honest, I don't like Total Drama Island either. I was never a fan of that. I do remember watching Survivor with my parents when I was a kid, though. Survivor was like the OG reality TV show. Survivor was the one that caused this big wave of reality TV. I don't know how popular reality TV is now, because a lot of it ended up being slop. A lot of, a, a lot of it ended up being like totally fabricated as well. But... We have a game to try, and I want to play different music today. for a different vibe. Just a little bit of a different vibe. We can go for a different vibe once in a while. You know, I get sick of the Hawaiian stuff. So, GeoGuessr. Single player, classic maps, multiplayer, party, quiz, shop, community. Is this me? Is it necessary to have an avatar in a game like this? Probably not. But I guess I guess they need to find a way to get the micro the, the micro transactions in there. Um, do I do you guys want me to start with single player or classic maps? What do you think? Single. Max, are you a ginger? Eh, kinda. I'm half ginger. 
Single player, your choice, man. You should do a party. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> well, I want to... Don't just tell me your choice. I don't even know the difference between the two. I don't know what classic maps means. Start with single? Okay. Um... I can't... I can't choose hard or impossible. Do I have to unlock things? This is a lot for a fucking browser game, if I'm being honest. Let's start with easy, because, um... I'm kind of anticipating that this is... <laughs> this is gonna be one of those streams where I make an ass out of myself and everybody realizes I'm an idiot. And also, I'm hoping that the way to play is, a uh, is gonna be pretty obvious. Or there's a, t a tutorial, one or the other. What does a black voice sound like? Uh, oh man, I sure do love basketball and watching Tyler Perry movies. That's a classic, it's a classic black person impression. Hello! Or hi. <clears throat> hi! I am Geo. <laughs> don't know why you, uh, don't know why I thought it said hello. I got brain fog today. I am Geo, your guide. Let's race around the world. Your mission is to travel around the world in as few days as possible. That's not what I thought the point of this was at all. To, tr to travel, you need money. Earn your money by guessing where you are. Okay. Frame rate is awful. Each city you visit gives you a stamp in your passport. Well, okie dokie then. Here's some travel money to get you going. Sweet. Sweet. I love starting my game with free money. Sweet. Um. Hollywood. Ooh, where do I go? What do I click? Level one? I'm gonna click level one, I guess. Wow, the frame rate is awful. Why is the frame rate so terrible? Uh, I guess I can't complain when it's- Oh, that's- Oh! Ugh, ah, ugh, ugh. I hate it. <laughs> can't complain when it's a browser game, but I would download it if it would look better than this. Space travel or Los Angeles? That frame rate is pure evil. Okay, I'm guessing I'm in Hollywood. Am I right? <laughs> Am I in Hollywood? I have no idea what I'm doing. What do I do? This is like somebody's house. This is somebody's fucking backyard. Oh, this feels invasive. I don't want to be here. Also, if you live here, this must be like an expensive place to live if you have a, a view of the Hollywood sign like that. Arguably the most famous sign in the world. The big Hollywood letters can be seen from miles away. Well, what do I do? This game has given me no instruction. Place pin? Okay, well the, the sign- The IRS is coming for me. I'm sorry to hear that. I am done me a heckin' scare. I'm an irresponsible child-like man baby and I leave pizza to cure the pain. Mmm, pizza. Um... Well, the sign is like somewhere here, yeah? Or here? No, not here. The sign is somewhere here. Can I zoom out? No. Oh, yes. With the scroll wheel. Um... Well, we're pretty close to the sign. Oh, everything is turning red. You guys might have to teach me how to play this. The game has given me nothing. I'm gonna say... there. Click. Guess. Nope. 17 miles away. 200 damage?! I thought it was gonna show me a place and I would have to guess where I was... like on a global scale. Hmm. Herm. If the frame rate is gonna be that bad, maybe just don't even animate it at all. <laughs> Uh, space travel? I have to guess where I am in space? Esrange was the first site on EU territory with orbital launch capability. You can see the car, the, the shadow of the car that I'm driving in. Am I 
zooming in or I'm, am I moving forward? I'm just moving forward. Okay, uh, how on earth am I supposed to know where I am? I'm just on a road surrounded by trees. There's no way of knowing where I am, truly none. I cannot move from this spot. This isn't fair. How is this supposed to be fair? Do you know how many places in the world might look exactly like this? A road surrounded by trees? Read the sign. Estrange? So am I guessing where Estrange is? I have no idea. I've never even heard of it. <laughs> What's the point of this game? To just make people look stupid? Oh. <laughs> It's in Finland. <laughs> the point of this game is just to make people look stupid. Um, biggest cities? Let's try this. Okay, this... Uh, this this looks like it might be India. This is, I, I would say, either India or the Middle East. I realized Plankton doesn't say how much money you donate anymore. How'd you fix that? You know, somehow it just fixed itself. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I don't know, I, I complained to them about it, and maybe they looked into it and they were able to find a way to fix it? By the number of inhabitants, this city is the second largest. On Earth? Okay, then it's probably not in the Middle East. But there is, there are a crazy number of people in India. India is super, super populated. I wish I could tell you what language I'm looking at on these signs, but I really don't know. I wonder if this is a nice place to live. I mean, the buildings... Ooh, <laughs> the buildings are not easy on the eyes, and this, uh, all these wires here, that looks like it could be kind of dangerous, and... Hanging clothes from them seems even <laughs> seems even more dangerous. <laughs> Guys, don't do that. Look at all these wires. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with India. I'm gonna say this is India. New Delhi, well done. Okay, I've heard of that place before. Ancient wonders. Okay, am I <laughs> the oldest and only surviving wonder of the ancient world? This pyramid is a testament to time. Well, they're called the Pyramids of Giza, aren't they? So I'm gonna guess I'm in Giza. And I think that's in Egypt, if I know. I wonder if it's like crazy hot here. I would like to visit here. I would like to, I'd like to check it out, but only if it's not too hot. Which it might be. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Where is Egypt? I don't know where everything is. That's another thing you gotta understand about me, you guys. I don't know where everything is. You can't expect me to know where everything is. Hey, stop. Open, open again. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> But I think Egypt is there, yeah. Um, Egypt is next to Japan? Oh, I don't think so. You ain't gonna fool me. Uh, we're just gonna, we're, you know what? We'll, we'll hedge our bets and we'll say right in the middle of Egypt. New mission, country streak. Guess the right country five times in a row. Okay. I was right! 221 miles away. Uh, is that good? Is that bad? Pyramid Gardens. Giza. There you go. I don't know if Giza is like the name of the city or what. Um, let's continue. You're out of energy. Try again. 
I wish this game would fucking explain itself. Ooh boy, ooh boy, do I wish this game would explain itself. Uh, Los Angeles. Venice Beach features many sports facilities, such as skate park and an iconic outdoor gym. You know what? An outdoor gym would be great if the weather was nice. But I would have to imagine that, like, 9 out of 10 times, the weather is just not right for it. It's either too hot or too cold. So this is Venice Beach. And I have to... I have to point to where it is? This game is nothing like what I was expecting. Bruce Beach. Bruce Beach. Um, Veterans Park. Long Beach. Huntington Beach. Newport Beach. I guess it wouldn't be listed here because because <laughs> that would make it too easy. Uh, we'll say right there because there's no listing there. Oof. Oof. I was close. Four miles. What? 84 damage. Why? I was four miles away. I take damage even for that? I use beautiful two frames a second animation. Songs with place names, space travel, or biggest cities. Let's go biggest cities again. This is the biggest city in the world with over 35 million inhabitants. Okay, I'm gonna guess China then. Or is the idea that China, everything is really spread out? Can I see the people? Ooh, the people are looking... Oh, everyone's face is blurred. But they look like they could be Chinese. Hmm. These people don't look Chinese. Um... Okay, so there's two possibilities here. It's China, because China is one of, is, is the most well-populated country. And so the biggest city in the world with the most inhabitants would be in China, or everybody in, even though there are more people in China than there are anywhere, China is really spread out. Everybody's saying Tokyo. Could it be Tokyo? You know what I'll do? Is, <laughs> so I can pick like an in-between point between China and Japan. Right there. Guess. Oh, it was Japan! Interesting. How many people live in Tokyo? A lot, I guess. Los Angeles or biggest cities? Let's try biggest cities again. Hmm. This city, with 21 million people, is the world's fourth largest and the continent's largest. Let's look at the people and see what race they are. What race are you? <laughs> what race are you? Oh, we have what appears to be maybe Spanish or Italian. Preserve a natureza recycle. Yeah, this could be Spanish. This could be somewhere in Spain. Term Vialquiaro. Interesting. Frota. Very Italian pronunciation of Spanish words. Gran Granado Pink. Interesting. No, wait, the other thing. Tedious. I think I'm going to say Spain. I think I'm going to go with Spain. Hmm. Spain. Unless it's somewhere in South America. Shoot, this could be like Brazil or something. I'll say Spain. Yep. Yep. South America. Fuck. Ugh, no. What's the name of the city? 
Saint Paulo? Okay. There's a lot of people live there. Smiling friends go to Brazil. Remember that? They didn't book their hotel. Ancient wonders again. Lost to history, the statue of Zeus lives on through ancient texts and imagination. Okay, well, the statue of Zeus is giving it away substantially. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I wish I could go here. Fuck, I would love to explore here. This is so cool. This is like a building that, like an ancient building that collapsed. This is like ruins. You know in your favorite video game? <laughs> you know in a... In like a Zelda game, you find the ancient ruins? This is like that in real life. God, that's cool. But... Like I said... It's gotta be somewhere around... Okay, it's, it's already zoomed me in here. It just wants me to be specific about where it is. I don't... I don't know if I can be specific about where it is. Because I really don't know. Um... I should just, like, look for an area that's not well populated. Like here? Oh, come on. It was all the way over here? 100 and, 114 miles away. That's not so bad. I was right about the country. But also, it was already zoomed in, so... And anyone could guess the country if it's Zeus. Zeus, the Greek god. Ancient Wonders. Let's do Ancient Wonders again. LA ain't doing me no damn favors, as usual. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Scoot. Scoot. Down. Scoot. This lighthouse was built by the Ptolemec Kingdom and was a testament to maritime navigation. Oh, it was, huh? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh! This is like every little kid's dream to have a fort that looks like a castle. That's so cool. This looks like a sand castle, but in real life. I want to visit there. I want to go here. <laughs> I want to go to all these places. I wish I was rich so I could travel. I would love to go here. I'm sure it would be like a fucking million degrees, but still. Um, well, it's gotta be somewhere near the ocean. It's gotta be somewhere on the coast or maybe on these tiny little islands. Can I see if it's on an island? Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Ooh, you have like a peninsula here that connects us to the mainland. You see that? You guys see that? Yeah? Oh, I'm running out of time. They don't give me enough time. They don't give me enough time! Uh, brr, brr, right there. Nope, all the way down there. Shoot. Ruins are cool, but you're cooler, Max. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, question mark? It's not a contest. It is not a contest. I don't need to be cooler than ruins. You're out of energy. Back to the city. Um, I really wish this game was giving me more direction. Cities, travel map, inventory, passport. What is travel map? Los Angeles, you are here. Okay, inventory. I have three apples, which I can use to regain 30 energy. Uh, three geo bars, which regain 60 energy, and three explorer sodas? Which regain 100% energy. Okay. Departures. I guess this is where I go when I get more money. Uh, no! I have enough money. I can go to San Francisco. But what is the point of... This is all too complicated. This is all, like, needlessly convoluted. What is even the point of traveling my character around? And also, I thought the main game mode was going to be, it like, plops me somewhere, and it, it, it asks me to guess the country. What happens if I travel? Let's find out. 
Welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> Watch where you step. Homeless people shit in the streets. Welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> Let's ride the cable cars, marvel at the Golden Gate Bridge, and explore Alcatraz. Discover the charm of the city by the bay. Hell yeah. Got that nice big bridge. Oh, it's, it's asking me quiz questions now? I haven't even gotten to the game yet. When did this, when did the bridge open to the public? I don't know, 1937? Was I right? <laughs> Was I right? Alcatraz Island, famous for its former high security prison. Alcatraz is now a national park. Ooh, I wanna go. It offers tours showcasing its history and the stories of notorious inmates. The island's gloomy allure and stunning bay view capture, captivate tourists. What kind of animals can be often be seen around Alcatraz? Well, I don't think it's fucking polar bears and kangaroos, so I'm gonna go with sea lions. I'm guessing it's right if it's green. Fisherman's Wharf, a vibrant waterfront area known for its seafood, yum, performances, and maritime history. Here, visitors can explore Pier 39, enjoy seafood at numerous restaurants, and witness sea lions basking in the sun. What kind of performances can you find at Fisherman's Wharf? Opera performances, ice skating performances, or street performances? Uh... Street performances? Green. Green means correct. Three out of three correct answers. answers. Fuck yeah! Didn't say the word answers correctly, but... Oh, the irony. Do I go back to level one? Okay, let me figure this out. Big statues. Let's try that. I, I click here to regain energy. The point is that I'm trying to get to the end of these, to get to the end of all of these challenges without running out of energy. Okay, that looks like the Buddha. And as the Buddha said, desire is the source of all suffering. Got some cool dragons out front. The Great Buddha is the ninth tallest statue in the world and was built to commemorate King, Bu King Bumbul. Okay. Buddha. Oh, fart. I'm forgetting Buddha. <laughs> forgetting which one is Buddha? Thailand? Do you think this is Thailand? Uh, you know what? Tell you what. I'll try it. And if you guys are wrong, then I'm not taking your answers anymore. I love everything about this, though. I love these little statues. This statue right here is adorable. Um, the dragons are more of like... I can I consider dragons like this to be like a Chinese thing. The serpent-style dragons. But we can say Thailand. We can try Thailand. Whoop, running out of time, running out of time. I'm gonna say... Right there. Oof, we were close! 67 miles away. That's not that far. But also, if I if I just get the answers from you guys, then that's not going to be a whole lot of fun now, is it? Dear lord, that frame rate. What if I, uh, what if I exit full screen? Do something like this. Make it better? Make the chat look... The chat shows up better against the desktop wallpaper anyway. Biggest cities. This city is the second largest on this continent and fifth in the world. Okay. Zapateria. Oh my gosh. Zapateria. You guys see that? It says Zapateria. That's a hell of a word. We don't have words like that in English. Um... Now, once again, we're seeing language that could be uh, Spanish or Italian. I don't want to immediately go to Spain again. I'm going to assume South America. We're near an airport. El Puerto. El Puerto. Velocidad. Velocidad. 
This one I am going to say is Brazil. I'm going to say this is Brazil. But since I don't know where in Brazil, I'm going to hedge our bets and go right, right for the middle. Come on, come on. Oh, no, it's Mexico City? Oh, no. Shoot. That is very, very far away. <laughs> oh. I've heard that place is nice. Songs with place names, big statues, or Summer Olympics. Let's go for big statues again. Damn, that's a big statue. Is it like the Pope or something? It looks like an old man. Representing unity and freedom, the world's tallest statue has a very fitting name, Statue of Unity. This is the world's tallest statue? It doesn't look that tall. I would think that even like the Statue of Liberty is bigger than that. Can you imagine what it must be like to be around, like, a giant statue of a human being? I would have no idea. We got words, we got words. State of unity. Okay, so it seems like... Alright, that's not English. I was gonna say it seems like things are English, but that's not English. This is English. Do not touch the handrails. Um, got some non-English languages here. Where could this be? Where do it be? Where do it be? Cold and safe, free drinking water. Hell yeah, delicious. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Bulgaria, but this is really just a guess. Nope, India again. Hmm. This game is making me look like a fool. Ancient wonders, ancient wonders, ancient wonders, come on. Give me something good. We got more ruins. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus stood for 17 centuries before earthquakes destroyed it. Halica Halicarnassus. Mazaleon Onsesi Mizar Odasi. Pre Mazaleon Tomb Chamber. I mean, a few words in there are English. Hmm. It's already starting us off in this area again. Um, North Macedonia. Could it be in North Macedonia? Let's go for it. No, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is this country? Turkey? Is that Turkey? Yeah, I guess that's Turkey. Okay, I need to I need to use a healing item. Before I do another, let me use a healing item. Let's try big statues one more time. Healing, healing item, please. Uh, soda. Fill up your energy? Yes. Is this another Buddha? Is this another Buddha? You have, to, you have to cross the Bridge of Afterlife to reach the world's fifth tallest statue. Ushiki Dabutsu. Hmm. So it's gonna be an Asian country. This, I can't, I can't pretend to look at an Asian language and know what it is. I can't. I, I truly can't. This could be Chinese, Japanese, Korean, anything. I, I truly would not know. Oh, it's got feet on the ground. Are you allowed to walk on the feet? Probably. Let's hope so. Man, can't walk on the feet. What is this, 1984? Can't even walk on the damn feet these days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say South Korea to split the difference between Japan 
in China. Oh, Tokyo again. All right. Well, I made it. I got starred. I got the, I got the power star from Mario. Level completed. Hell yeah. What do I do with the star? Okay, the star unlocks the... The American potato chip... <laughs> American potato chip bag. I'm yawning. Claim. What's in there? Cable car... Ca cable car charm. Hop aboard one of historic cable cars climbing the city's steep inclines. As you traverse the hilly terrain, be on the lookout or the cable cars or the cable cars or its tracks in the streets. Who wrote this crap? Okay, that goes in my collection. This game is evil. They're truly not explaining anything. Um How do I go back? How do I go back? I want to go back. I don't want... I can't. I don't have any money to travel. How do I go back? This game is evil. This game is pure evil. Uh, do any of you guys know what is the game mode where it drops me somewhere and I have to guess my country? Any of you guys know what that game mode is called? Maybe I can look for that game mode. Classic? I should have done classic. Oh, I should have done classic. Well, how do I go back to choosing classic? Settings, resume. Full screen off? I don't want to use that. Abandoned trip? Try abandoned trip. All your current progress in this trip will be lost, but I don't want... Mm, I'm not sure if I want that. Main menu? Yes, there we go. Uh, classic maps. World, no move, and NMPZ. Not sure what that means. Let's try move. It, it truly is not explaining anything. That's my biggest pet peeve. All it would need to say is like, move, this version allows you to move. No move, this version does not allow you to move. Although maybe it is self-explanatory. Okay. Looks like I don't have a time limit. Am I allowed to move as much as I want? Oh, we got a sign. That looks like French. Vous n'avez pas, or maybe Italian or Spanish. Pas la priorité. Wherever I am, it's definitely commissariat de police. Wherever I am, it's definitely beautiful. I would love to live here. Oh wow, look at that building. Centre de Despitage. Is this a police station? Let's check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go for France. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not... If I'm not worldly enough for this game. I'm just not worldly enough. I wanted to be worldly. I really did. Everybody wants to be worldly. <laughs> good, th good thing I'm a, a man of the world. Remember that from Ed, Ed and Eddie? Actually, you know what? Now, the closer I'm getting to this building, the uglier it looks. <laughs> this, this building is falling apart. I am enthralled by all of the, uh, the staircases, though. Good thing I'm a man of the world. That's what Eddie said when he saw Ed with Jimmy in his mouth. Hmm. Ooh, what's that say? What's that say? Can't read that. 
And if I get closer to it? Rue, Maxim Rue Maximilien Robespierre. Ville de Plessier. Yeah, either Spanish or French. Danger. Just English. English word. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Spanish or French, what are you? Explain yourself. Explain yourself. We're gonna say France. Actually, ooh, ooh, tactic. Tactic here. France is right next to Spain. So we're gonna we're gonna go right on the fault line right there. We're gonna guess there. Split the difference. It's Paris! It's literally Paris! So I was right. I was right in thinking that it was French. Yes! Mm, I was right! Fuck yeah. Alright, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Now we're talking. Florida fence? Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna guess Florida. It says Florida fence of Tampa Inc. Custom made fences. Hmm, I'm gonna guess this is Tampa, Florida. <laughs> and it's ugly like Florida. Oh, a church. Maybe it'll say uh, the name of the church. Let me guess, first church of Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yep. We in Florida, lads. Lads, we in Florida. Might run into a Florida man. And what is this establishment? Nico's. This is like a dive, a, uh, a dive diner. And what is this? A and J towing. I love that sign. Their nephew made it. <laughs> Their twelve-year-old nephew made this sign for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in Tampa, Florida. We're in Tampa, Florida. Everything smells like piss. We got a nice mural on the wall there. Brighten up the neighborhood, not that bad. D&D &D Antiques? Yeah, D&D &D Antiques. The Study. Extension and Color Collective. Not sure what that would be. I used to live in Miami. Florida, man. It's like everywhere you go is either like really nice or really ugly. Hawks tattoos. Okay, let's find Florida. Hello, Florida. Tampa, right there. Boop. Yes. 2.5 miles from location. You know, it makes it easy when it just gives the, gives away the answer like that. Okay. Asian language. We have an Asian language here. That could be Korean. So I'm gonna say maybe Korea. God, so many places that you can go. They're just like a whole different world to me. This is just some place that exists that has millions of people in it. Literally millions. And they're all just going about their little lives. And they don't even know who I am. It's a little surreal. It's a little surreal. But we are going to say Korea. Uh, and we're going to split the difference between North and South Korea. Yes! Yes! 44 miles! I can't believe I recognized Korean text! I can't believe that! I got the country right! Oh my god! Mm, I'm good at this! This is way better than that shitty other mode I was playing. <laughs> okay, where are we? Where are we? Marshall Way. Are we in Australia? This could be a lot of things. At, ooh, wait, this text. This looks this this font. This looks like something that you would see in Texas. Township market. Interesting. Um 
Okay, so I went from Australia to America. I'm in, like people's front yards and shit. Somebody just lives here. You need to mow your damn lawn. Look, these people have kids. Got like a little dollhouse out front. Got a slide. There's some two-year-old who loves playing on that thing. Um, this... This looks like a farm, maybe? They grow something on these trees? Interesting. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Texas. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We just traveled through time! The trees have grown! The trees are ready for harvest! There are chemtrails in the sky! Okay, I'm going Texas. This might be where Hank Hill lives. It's so weird that they... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What keeps happening? You see all the trees and then you move forward and they're all gone. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I'm, I, I still have to go Texas though. But I don't know where in Texas, so I'm just gonna I drop my pin right in the middle. No, Sacramento, that's California. That's my own backyard. Dang. Yuba City, South Yuba City. Okay. Crispy Crunchy Chicken. Ooh, I want to eat there. Can we go to Crispy Crunchy Chicken? Alright, that one was a mulligan. We're gonna call that a mulligan. Got some people on bikes. Hey guys, what's up? That looks like... Is that one of... Is Oop, get out of here. Get out of here. Is that one of those bikes... That's like uh, like a rental bike. Like you get it from one of those uh, those dispensary places, where you like insert a coin and then you just take it. This girl is not happy to be on camera. These could be like students somewhere. These could be like college students. Uh, here we have a, a a couple just going on a leisurely a leisurely stroll. Hmm. This could be anywhere. A cosque galère edge. Okay, so step one is we need to look for some uh, to look for some readable text that will clue me in on the language. Um, but if I don't find anything that gives me a clue, then I could <laughs> I could just put my pin in like the middle of Europe. Hey guys, what's up? You just chilling? Flee! Flee Lu- Flee Le Lu- Oh, it's Baby Yoda! We found Baby Yoda! And My Little Pony, and My Little Pet Shop, and Barbie, and Disney. And Monster High? That is literally Baby Yoda. We found Grogu. Flee Le Lu Kuapa. So, uh, wherever, wherever this is, if this is a flea market, then Lelukuapa could mean market. Can't believe we found Baby Yoda. Amsterdam? You think this is Amsterdam? I don't know anything about Amsterdam. I might have to. I might have to just do the cowardly thing and plop that pin down right in the middle of uh, right in the middle of Europe and say, "You figure it out. You figure it out, Europe." Oh, we got another store over here. Valentatalo. This... This could be Spanish. This could be Spain. Campula Gamtakt. That does not seem like Spanish. I wish I knew more than one language. If I knew more than one language, it would come in very handy right now. 
It even blurred out this photo in the f It blurred out the face of this photo uh, of a woman in the window of the shop. That's not a real woman, that's like a cardboard cutout or something. Or maybe just like a decal that they put on the window. Oh, that guy didn't get blurred. Image where? Tioa Supavevulo. Okay. I gotta make a call here. Nope, not in the ocean. I don't know where it is, but it's definitely not in the ocean. Um, I'm gonna say Austria. We're gonna go for Austria. No. That's Finland. Finland is another place that I don't know anything about. Your results. You're now a rookie tourist, masterful. Your border just got a fresh new look and you gained a new title. Uh, okay, got it. Let's play again. This one is fun. I like this one, I wanna play again. Okay, messagerie, messagerie. Whoa, 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 let me see what's written on you. Massagerie, a world-class massagerie. Massagerie del Garda. La impronta della qualità. This could be Italian. Ooh, is that a church? Oh. I found a mysterious old haunted chapel. Damn, what kind of a building is this? This might be Spain. This might be Spanish. so cool. I want to explore that building. I want to do some urban exploring. Also, there's nothing anywhere, and that's going to make this tricky. There's there's nothing in any direction. Hmm. There's a building over there. Maybe we should go that way. I feel like if we go out this way, we're just kind of uh, we're going off into no man's land. I don't want to wander too far. All right, we have to go this way. We have to go this way. Let's go this way until we find a civilization. There's a sign. Lero, Lero, Lero Bini, Centro Commercial. Forti Negozi e One Impermacato. Provincial Quin Zenanese. All right, well, we can split the difference between Italy and Spain again. I know is a little cowardly instead of just picking one, but there's another sign. Ariazi. Salu Saluzion Diaredo. <laughs> After today's stream, I'm gonna have to watch the VOD and see all of you guys getting angry at me. All of you guys are probably screaming at me as I Fumble my way through this ass backwards. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. S I C P A. Okay. Artsana. Yeah, I'm just gonna split the difference between Italy and Spain again. Oh, yeah, that's right. France is between Italy and Spain. So I do have to make a decision. Hmm. Flarp. Thank you. Thank you for super chatting, Flarp. Uh, I don't know what Flarp is. Northeast Italy? Okay, you know what? For you guys, I'll say Italy. Right there. Parma, Italy. Bologna. You know what? We'll say Bologna. Wow, how did you know that? <laughs> Whoever knew that, how did you know that? This is in some place called... I mean, we were, you were, you were, I was 63 miles away, but this is someplace called Ponte Vico. You know, I've heard that there's a city in Italy where the mayor is a Gilardi. And I don't know what city it is, but if I go to that city, I could be a, you know, I could basically walk all over everybody. And just be like, hey, hey, I'm related to the mayor. You know, Mayor Gilardi, I'm his nephew or something. I'm his long-lost nephew. I showed up to meet him, to hang out with him. 
fuck yeah, this is addicting. This, this, this game mode, this is what I was hoping it would be. And I'm having fun, having fun with this. Ejercito ed, ed, Nacional. Puesto. Okay. Hmm. Not seeing anything yet. There's a sign. What does that say? Um. Kind of being blocked by that tree. To me, this says South America. Um. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> he's smiling at the camera. This guy's smiling at the camera. You can tell. He is. He's smiling at the camera. To me, this all says South America because I think, I think the signs are in Spanish. I think the signs are in Spanish, and also I don't think you see this kind of vegeta vegetation, um, in Europe. Like I don't think you see a tree like that in Europe a whole lot. These are very tropical-looking trees. Nissan. Nissan Pathfinder. Come on, just give me one more sign. There we go. There we go. Oh no, it's blurred! Shit! El Tigre, there's a tiger that way. <laughs> El Tigre, that means a tiger, right? What is this, an outdoor zoo? Is there a tiger in, the, in, the, in these weeds? What's going on? Guys, El Tigre, that way. Tigre, that was a show on Nickelodeon, I remember that. Laguna de Miedo. Interesting. So I'm gonna say South America, but where in South America? Same Nissan Pathfinder. Oh my gosh, imagine if you lived here. Imagine if that was, that, that was your little shack. You hung out in every day. Oh, I'm glad I'm glad I live in an apartment complex with a pool. Okay, I have to I have to make a guess. I'm not gonna find anything else. Guessing time. We're in South America. Peru? Brazil? Argentina, you are gay. <laughs> you are gay. I'm gonna say, uh, I mean, any guess is as good as anything. I'm gonna say Ecuador. Ooh, I was close. Zachy, thanks for gifting that sub. Very generous of you. It was actually, uh,. But I can't I can't read it because the stupid pin is on top of it. Baran Kabarmeja. Baran Kabarmeja. Interesting. What's this guy selling? Hey bud, what you selling? What you got for sale? Guys are e oh, that's one guy. That's, that's one guy twice. I thought that was a set of twins. I thought this was twins who dress the same and are eating at the same time. <laughs> that's just the same guy twice. You can't fool me. That's the same damn guy. You guys just hang out here or are you selling something? I'm not sure I want to buy. I don't know if this is all approved by the uh, health inspector. I swear, I thought that was a- <laughs> I thought they were twins. That's silly. Oh, there's- oh, cute. There's a guy with his, uh, girlfriend on the back of his moped. That's cute. Oof, this, pl this place isn't looking too nice. Um, where could this be, I wonder?
so far this could be truly anywhere. Which is very unhelpful. Oh, we got some text. We got some Asian text. This could be Chinese. I think those are Chinese figures. Chinese symbols. me down in like truly the middle of nowhere. It was just some back road somewhere and I'm just I'm surrounded by the woods. Who's that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> is that like a guy who's running for uh for senate or something? He's he's a, some kind of a politician. All right. Well, he's got my vote. Uh I'm going to say China. Do I want to do I want to go like Mongolian or something? I'll uh, I'll split the difference between Mongolia and China. Nope, Japan. I could have sworn those were uh, those were Chinese characters. I was totally wrong. The back roads of Japan. Hachi Hachino Japan Hachinoe Japan. Okay, we got very tropical looking trees. This is not Europe. Not Europe, not America. If it is America, it would have to be like Florida or something. It's the kind of vegetation that only 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 grows in a humid a humid place. Look at this house, look at that little house. There's some little old lady who lives in that house who's like 110 years old and she <laughs> and she never leaves. She just sits in front of a little TV all day. Oh, the houses over there look nicer though. There's a big fucking tree in the way. Out of my damn face. This could be India. Um Oh, that whatever building this is, it's beautiful. Look at that. It might be like a, some kind of a church. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. Once again, in the middle of nowhere. But that architecture right there, that, that almost looks like, um... This right here looks like something you might see in China. That's the one problem with this game, is this game is almost just like... Ooh, that bridge is not looking good. I don't want to cross that bridge. This bridge, this this game is just like nothing but you making your your racial generalizations. Like, you see a building and you're like, Duh, it kind of looks Chinese. As if I have any idea what a Chinese building looks like. Like, obviously I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. In, in, in America, we do not have bridges that <laughs> that don't have railings on the side. We don't. What if you fall off? You don't want to fall off into the muck. Maybe Philippines? Max, there's no China in Street View? Is that true? You can't do Street View in China? Interesting. Does that mean as long as I'm playing this game, I should stop guessing China entirely? Is that what that means? Maybe. Philippines was a good guess. Because I think Philippines is kind of a tropical climate. Are those bottles of piss? Oh, they're selling bottles of piss! Cool! We have some language here. Decini Tercidia. Okay, this can't be Philippines then. Because these are, uh... This looks like it was written in Spanish. This might be... This might be Spain? Hmm. Actually, you know what? If it's Spanish, and it looks like a tropical climate... 
Once again, all of my guesses are just uh, entirely uninformed, just the worst kind of generalizations. If it's Spanish and it's a tropical climate, I'm always going to want to go with... with South America. There's a bed outside. Somebody's sleeping under the stars. Somebody's bike. This is like the jungle. This could be Brazil. I think there are parts of Brazil that are like the jungle. Nico International. No cash on that sign can't be Philippines. <laughs> no, no G cash? What does that mean? What are you saying? What are you suggesting? Well, let me go over there. Well, let me go that way. I'm gonna guess South America. Let's say... Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be green on the map because I'm seeing a lot of green everywhere. Let's say Venezuela. Nope, Malaysia. Or Singapore? Singapore, this is Malaysia up here. This is Singapore. Okay, okay. Got it totally, total, totally wrong opposite side of the planet, but whatever, whatever. Chalk it up to a mulligan. Okay, we got some words over here. That looks like... Maybe Russian? I think that's Russian. I think that's Russian text. I recognize those symbols. One of our mods, Zora, is Russian, and I think I've seen her talk like this before. Valanta dedicated to deliver. Oh, at least they're dedicated. Alright, we're gonna guess Russian on this. Uh, Russia is here. Oh, but Russia is so damn big! It could be anywhere. Up, 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 up. Just put right in the middle. Okay, right about the country. But not really all that close. What is even the point of having a country this big? Just chop it up into smaller countries. Putin, get your head out of your ass! Your country's too big! And do you want to take Ukraine? Do you need it? Do you need it? Putin, do you need the Ukraine? What do you need it for? You don't need it. Just let them do what they want. Leave them alone. Stop fucking around. You have like the biggest country on the damn planet and you want more? What do you need more for? You've got it all. You have all these, all this empty space. You're not doing anything with it. Why do you need more? War ended by bald streamer. Yeah, no kidding. Because all of these, uh, all these political leaders, they're thinking with their asses. They got their heads up their poopers. They're not thinking. You got, like, one of the biggest countries ever. You're doing nothing with it. It's mostly empty space, and you want more. I don't get it. I don't get it. Make it make sense. Alright, this kind of looks like New England. Um, honestly, honestly, this reminds me of where I grew up. I remember seeing places like this all the time. And I think that's English. Grand Plaza. This could be New England. For sale by owner. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait to buy this junk. Can't wait to buy this junk property. I read on the on the trash lane garbage apex disposal yard debris only this looks like New England oh Halloween decorations let's go back I want to see the Halloween decorations where are they where are they look it's Halloween okay well then this is definitely America because Halloween is a very American thing so we're looking at America. We're having a we're having an American experience. A 
Do we want to plop our pin right down in, uh, in the middle of New England? I guess the luckiest thing that happened was when it, <laughs> when I was right in the middle of Tampa, Florida, and it said so. Ooh, is that a playground? Yes. I can't get any closer to it, though. Oh, that house is beautiful. Damn. Oh, I want to live in a house like this. Oh, I want to live in a nice little house, a cute little cottage. Oh, I want it, I want it. Daddy, I want it, I want it, I want it. Daddy, I can't eat my hominy grits unless I have a big silver spoon, Daddy. I can't eat my hominy grits unless I have the biggest silver spoon in the room, Daddy. How am I supposed to eat my hominy grits without a big silver spoon? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say New Hampshire. Nope! Wrong side of the country. Oregon. Kind of close to uh, Portland. Alright, fair enough. Where are we? Where? Everything is blurred. I can't see shit. Oh, we got Spanish. Spanish? Maybe not Spanish. Saint. Saint. Isador Caritas. That word there does not look like Spanish, though. That looks like the longest fucking word I've ever seen. Kinder und... Maybe this is Sweden. Kinder und Jugend Kompend... This is all one word. Jugend... Jugend Kompend Tezentrum. Jugend Kompentent Tezentrum. That's the longest word I've ever seen in my damn life. We might be in Schwoden. Jugend Kompendenst Zendentrum. Welcome to Schwoden. Hey, hey. Every day is the 15th of May. Is that Mr. Krabs' first dime? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, where did it go? Where is it? We found Mr. Krabs' first dime. Oi, you stole me first dime, boyo. Jesus equals son? What does that say? What's that graffiti say? Oh, now it's gone. Somebody painted over it? Yeah, look, now I'm somebody painted some over it. Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker Bunkers, now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. Mm-hmm. Max, do you have any extras? No, as if I would share my precious Wunker Bunkers. Oh, the circus is in town. Guys! The circus is in town. Let's go to the circus. Yep, I'm gonna say Sweden. Is that the circus? Is this it? Did we... No, that's not it. I see a big billboard up there. I wanna see what's on it, though. Uh, I can't see. I'm already zoomed in as far... Well, what if I get closer to it? Whoops, get out of here. Not sure what's going on there. Not sure what's going on there. The fitness company. We found a gym. If the fitness company is a gym. Okay, where are we? Where do we want to say? Let's go for Sweden. Where even are you? There you are. Let's split the difference between Sweden and Norway. Oh, it was Austria. I don't know anything about Austria, other than that it kind of sounds like Australia. Next up, where are we going? Crystal Rapids Automatic Car Wash. I'm gonna say this kind of looks like the south. This could be like Tennessee or something.
10th Street Laundry. Oof, with the Coca-Cola machine out front and everything. This is definitely the South. This is the South, baby. This could be like Kentucky, something like that, somewhere around that area. Of course, we're only getting into the... Ooh, these houses are boring. I would hate to live in a house like that. They're so tiny and boring. Ugh. I wouldn't like it. Ew, I don't want to live there. Ew! Ew, the people who live here are gross. They're gross people who live in ugly little houses. I don't like it. Georgia Ave? This could be in Georgia. They named, they named the street after the state. I don't want to live, I don't want to live here. I don't want to be friends with these people in their tiny little yucky houses. It's gross. I'm gonna say, could be Alabama, could be Mississippi, Mississippi, could be Arkansas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right down. But it's also flat, and I think there are a bunch of mountains here. I'm gonna put it right down, sorta near Memphis, and we'll see how that treats me. Ooh, it's North Carolina. Okay. I got the uh, the general proximity to the equator correct, so that's good. These are Asian buildings, right away I can tell, Asian buildings, Asian text, could be Korean, could be Chinese, um, God, there's graffiti everywhere. Everywhere in the world there's graffiti, and nobody likes it. Please do not spray graffiti on the walls. Nobody likes it. Hmm. It's gonna take another wild guess. There's no way I can know where I am. Those, those are some... Ninomiya... BLDG building? Neomina Neo Nino Mia building. Interesting. Um What do I think? Do I want to go China? Do I want to go Philippines? Zig Zig Studio. Oh, we found Zig Studio. I Zig, you Zag. That guy, hmm. Can't see him, can't get any closer to that guy. Uh, do they have motorcycles in China? I don't know. Let's go for something different. Let's say Vietnam, which I don't think I've guessed yet. So let's guess Vietnam. Nope, Japan. So many times it's Japan. Do one more. We'll do a few more rounds of this and we'll switch to a uh, press the button. Okay, now I see truly nothing in any <laughs> in any direction. Middle of nowhere. Kind of hilly looking. Lots of very pretty vegetation. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot of pollution. The sky is very clear. There's a sign. Can I read that sign? You gotta let me read that sign, boy. I wanna know what's on that sign, boy. Dene le petit, cosenade, pinu, cognac. Is this some place? Is this like a place where they're making wine? Where they're making perfume? This could be France. But there's so little civilization around. I feel like if I look around, I won't find anything. Because there's just not any civilization anywhere. Can't go down that way. Yep, we're gonna say France again. Out in the fucking boonies, can't find anything. There's not a soul around for miles. That's probably just somebody's house over there. Yep. 
No businesses, no signs. Hmm. We're going France. We're going France. Let's go to France, baby. Uh, here. Yes! Oh, I was real close, too. 215 miles away. Near Bordeaux, France. And I leveled up. Don't know what the point of leveling up is. But you know what? That was fun. I, I, I like that game mode a lot better. Classic Maps is the game mode that I ended up liking. Uh, but... Would you- will you press the button? This might be fun. Fool around with this for a while. You can pass every college course you take, but every professor you have is a- <laughs> is an incompetent idiot that can barely speak English. And you will have them for a minimum six years. Why would I want to be going to college for six years? If I was in college and I needed to go to college for six years, then this would be great. I'll pass every course. But also, if I... Hmm. If I don't... If if I would end up passing a course that I shouldn't have passed, that might be dangerous. I don't want to get a job as a doctor if I'm not qualified to be a doctor. You know? So I will... And you know what? Also, it would be dishonest. And I want to err on the side of honesty. So no. No, I won't do that. <laughs> Which squish mallow are you? Uh, fucking none. Leave me alone. You will become a vampire and gain all the powers of one, but everyone will try to hunt you down and kill you, and you lose all your powers if you go into the sun. I will not do that. That's an easy one. I will not. I don't know what the advantage is- what the advantage of having vampire powers would be. I guess just that you can fly as a bat? Um... But even that's not worth never being able to go out in the day ever again. I should, uh... Should, it it would have would have been better if I had, a uh, If I had ad block on for this. Anyway. You can summon any character creature that has never been conceived. That, it, that has ever been conceived. So, like, Princess Peach, I could just, like, snap my fingers and bring her to life, and she's in my bedroom and she loves me. Well, she, I, I guess there's no guarantee that she would love me. Um, each time you want a new character creature, you must kill the old one and can never summon them again. Oh. Yeah, this would be better with ad block. There are truly ads everywhere. What, what is a fictional character that I would want to summon? I don't know if there's one that I would want to meet that I would need. I guess it might be useful to summon like Hank Hill if you need help around the house because he's very handy. He can help you like fix stuff. He can help you repair and improve stuff. But even then, then it's just like I, he lives with me now and I'm like responsible for his livelihood. Like what am I going to do with Hank Hill just living with me? And then if I want to summon somebody else, I have to kill Hank Hill. Goofball? I would not fucking summon Goofball. <laughs> Why on earth would I want to live with Goofball? I could summon like a famous chef. And have have him like make me dinner. But even then, if you summon them, there's no there's no guarantee that they're gonna wanna do whatever you want them to do. Like I could summon like a hot babe character, like a hot, like a hot fictional character, but she she might not like me. She might not want to have anything to do with me. This would only be an inconvenience in every situation, so no. And most people agree. You will accomplish all you want in life, but you will never fall in love. Well, yes. I don't know how likely either of those things would be anyway. Oh, what if what I want to accomplish in life is falling in love? You can accomplish all you want in life, but you will never fall in love? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. 
Falling in love is already like a very, very difficult thing to accomplish. Some people never fall in love. Or they fall in love once and then they, they never do it again. But what would I want to accomplish in life if, it, if love was off the table? Because for a lot of people, love is something they want to accomplish. Well, I already answered, so I guess I can't think about it now. Working out is now five times more efficient, but all the weight you lose is redirected into fat in your feet. No, because then I would be... I would be just horribly disfigured. That one makes no sense. Yeah, and everyone agrees. That one makes no sense. You would just have giant ugly feet. You would have elephant... <laughs> you would have elephantitis in your feet. That would be weird. You gain the ability to create any object you want. Each time you do, you move to a parallel identical universe disappearing without a trace from this one. So the the only difference, the only way it would be perceptible to me, it, it would it would effectively not be perceptible to me, but it just means that every time I create one of these new amazing objects, there exists a universe where nobody ever knows what happens to me and I just disappear like a ghost and nobody can ever find me ever again. But if we're believing that parallel universes do exist, then that means there's already an infinite number of universes where I do just become a missing person. Because all, all things are possible in alternate universes. So I guess why not? People were kind of split on that one. You become one of the most recognized artists in the world. I already am. But you get color blindness. Eh, why not? I like seeing color, but it's not perhaps the most necessary thing in the world. Hmm. Do I need color? I like it. I, you know, I'm a big fan of colors. I like the orange. <laughs> I like the blue. I like the yellow. But I think it would be a worthy trade-off. You make a discovery that will eventually lead to cure all, to cure of all diseases, but this happens after you die and during your lifetime you are deemed insane. <laughs> no, I guess not. If people think I'm insane, that's going to ruin the rest of my life. Eight, oh, there are comments. No, it will lead to humanity downfall by overpopulation. How do I make a discovery after I die? I am already deemed insane. Turns around to face empty chair. Am I right, Bob? <laughs> I don't down talk Bob. Bob knows what he's doing. You will be fluent in seven languages, but you will never be able to speak a country's native tongue while in that language. So, I learn, like, French, Italian, Spanish, Swedish, but when I'm in, Fran when I'm in France, I can't speak French. When I'm in Italy, I can't speak Italian. I, you know what? I might as well go for it because I wasn't planning on learning any languages anyway. Like I've I've often wanted to take, I've often wanted to like travel and take a trip, but if I went to Italy, I don't know if I would be able to to learn perfect Italian. So why not? You will be happy for the rest of your life. That's a great upside. We're starting off good. You will lose every material thing forever, and you will be homeless and poor. Stuff you gain will always get destroyed within seconds. What is it that's making me happy, then? I would have to be a real idiot to be, a, to be happy in that situation. You need something in your life to make you happy. How can you, how can you be happy without something there to make you happy? I'm just a really, really, really happy, homeless, poor person? be a horrible way to live but you know what right now I'm not homeless and I'm not poor but I'm also not happy so maybe it would be worth it maybe happiness is the most important thing Ooh, people did not agree with that hmm one of my stuff is food so would I starve to death it says for the rest of your life in that case that means approximately three weeks 
So if you gain weight, you immediately lose it. Well, you would also probably lose weight if you're homeless and poor anyway. Taylor Swift is looking great over there. Um, interesting. Monk lifestyle. Yeah, no kidding. You could just live like a monk. I've often thought about... <laughs> I've often thought about becoming a monk. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll get around to it. I wonder if it would be a better life for me. You can make anyone want to have sex with you, but the sex is really bad. would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? That would be like saying, you, you can have a million dollars, but you can't spend it. Well, spending it is the, is the important part. Better than no sex? I'd, is, is that true, though? Is no sex better than bad sex? The reason that no sex is bad is because you want to have sex that is good. So I guess what's the point? I mean, at least in the state that I'm at right now, um, I can't make anybody want to have sex with me, but if I do get somebody to have sex with me, it might be good sex. Whereas if I had this, that would just never happen. Almost every button is about sex. <laughs> These are all sex buttons. I'm just pushing a bunch of sex buttons. You can run 120 miles per hour, but your feet will fall off by age 40. That's not worth it. Truly not worth it. Just get robot feet. Oh, I forgot! Oh, I forgot they do the prosthetic feet. Fuck! That might be worth it then. <laughs> and if you can run 120 miles per hour, you'd be in great shape. I forgot about the prosthetic feet. Oh. You become YouTube famous, uh, kind of already am, sort of a little bit, D-list YouTuber at best, but you will never do a face reveal and you can never reveal your identity. I'm, I, I'm already not planning on doing any more face reveals. And a lot of YouTubers don't do face reveals, they, they never reveal their identity. There are, there are content creators out there like that. This is, this is like already kind of my life. Sure. Maybe, maybe when I click the button, it'll make me more YouTube famous. Maybe I'll have like, I'll have like 10 million subs or 20 million subs. And I can wake, I can make way more money than I already do. So why not? Already wasn't planning on showing my face. Why not? You will gain the ability to convince anyone to do anything you want them to. That's good. You can never lie, and the people you tell what to do will resent you for the rest of their lives. I don't... I also kind of just don't like the idea of, like... Having a weird hypnosis power over people. Having having a weird, a, a weird way to manipulate people. Because that is unethical, so I think no. I do find that to be unethical. Next up, we'll do this for a, we'll do this for like 10 more minutes. You have a time machine, live forever, and can travel all of time and space and do whatever you want, but in the end, you will always be alone. Do I have a way to kill myself when I'm finally done? When I, when I'm, when I've finally had my fun and I've, I've done everywhere and seen everything? Done everywhere, seen everything. <laughs> seen everything, done every- done e done everything, seen everywhere, excuse me. A Doctor Who? Yeah, that is a Doctor Who kind of situation. But would I have a way to kill myself? Is- is there like a button that I can push that ends it all when I feel like, you know what? I've had my fill of this world, I'm ready to leave it behind. I'm ready to move on to whatever the next existence is. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what else. What else this existence could be. But you wouldn't even have to like. It, it wouldn't even be like you wait until the world ends, or you wait until the heat death of the universe, and then you're just like floating in space. Because even when you do get to that point, you have a time machine, so you can just go back. You can go back to like 500 BC again. So you go to like 100 BC or something like that. You live out, you live all the way through history, 
you get to the end of the world, then you just zoop back to the start. And I guess I just made up a word, zoop. <laughs> Is zoop a word? I don't know. You go back to the start, and then you live through it again, but this time you do a bunch of different stuff. That could be fun. You know what? I'm kinda liking the idea. I'm gonna push it. Why not? You have the ability to see behind you. I mean, I already can, I just have to turn my head around. <laughs> Everyone can see behind them! It's called looking around, you idiot! But your vision becomes five times worse in both the front and the back. I will not. Not worth it. It's easier to just fucking look around. It's easier to just take the three second, not even three seconds, the half a second it takes to turn around. Are you kidding me? These are all the women I can date in my area. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if I dated her? You become all-powerful, have more money than Microsoft, and can be considered the first ruler of all humanity, but you die in two weeks. No. There's truly nothing I could do in two weeks that would make it worth it. Two weeks? That's nothing. It should have been like you die in five years or something. Then it would be tricky, but there's nothing you can do in two weeks. It would, it would just be better to live. Your purpose in life is revealed to you, but it's now twice as hard to accomplish. No, I'm good. There's no purpose. Who has a purpose? Nobody has a purpose. YouTube is fixed and subscriptions are back to normal. I'm not sure what that means. But to do this, the site is reverted to the 20, the 2006 design. Why not? I liked it better anyway. Subscriptions are back to normal? Somebody must have made that one at a time when they changed how subscriptions worked. At, at one point, I think they did that thing where they took your, your subscription feed. I think you used to go to YouTube and your subscription feed would be the first thing that you saw. Now you have to click on subscriptions to see it. That must have been when this question was made. You can eat literally anything, even stone bricks and concrete, but I don't want to! <laughs> but you will turn everyone you touch after eating an object into your last meal. No, I don't have a... I don't have a desire to eat bricks and concrete. Are you nuts? Why would I want to eat that? You can save your dying child, but you can never see or hear from them again. I don't have a child, but if my child is dying, I would prefer them to live, obviously, even if I'll never see them again. Some of these questions are dumb. You can change the ending of your favorite book or story, but you can never it can never be made into a movie, and if it's already been made into a movie, the movie was never made, so it no longer exists. I don't have any desire to change my favorite. If my favorite uh, book or story is my favorite, I wouldn't want to change it. I would like it the way it is. Easy one. Come on, let's go. Any character that you create will become real, but they all speak different non-existent languages. I don't want characters of my own creation to, be to become real. I don't want that. Who wants that? I don't need a real goofball running around. It'd be awful. You gain the ability to fully control and manipulate others, but everyone knows you can. Um... Nope, it's still unethical. I don't want to do unethical shit. You will get straight A's in school, but you will always have a lunchtime detention and will always get in trouble. Um, not really relevant to me as an adult. I don't even... I didn't see the appeal of getting straight A's in school when I was in school. And I still don't really see the appeal of it now. The, the, whole, the whole benefit of getting straight A's is that it makes it easier to get into a college. But, if you're always getting lunchtime detention and getting in trouble, that would make it harder to get into college. So I'm gonna say no. When you die, you will reincarnate anew with your memories intact. That could be good. But, your gender and appearance will change every time you reincarnate. Who cares? That's like implied with reincarnation anyway. Why not? That's fine. Next up. 
You have the ability to pause time and go back and forth at will. Very good. Very advantageous ability. But every time you do so and change something, even the smallest thing, you create a parallel universe where that change was not. That's fine. That's fine. Who cares? Who cares about a parallel universe? Who fucking cares? That's just normal time travel. You have an IQ of 300, but your parents abandon you at age 15 with nothing to give you. And eh, why not? <laughs> having an IQ of 300 would be more advantageous than having parents, I think. No need for parents when you're the smartest person alive. Yeah, exactly. You gain two powers, transformation into anything you want and teleportation. You can still move when transform and tell when transformed and teleport anywhere. But you can never become human again. Hi Max, can I get a thwomp sound for the chat? Thanks. Like that? Hey, no charge. No no charge, except I guess you paid for the super chat. But other than that, no charge. <laughs> Something like that. That's kind of how it goes. You can never become human again and have to suffer a pain like you're burning every time you use either of these powers for the first 24 hours. You're in that new form. Uh, you can never be human again. There's no advantage to anything that means I can never be human again. If I can never be human again, what, what would I be... And also, what kind of life would I live? I wouldn't be able to live a normal human life if I don't look like a human. So no. And also, I'm burning for 24 hours every time I teleport or transform? What's the point? You are immortal, but you see something insanely scary and traumatizing which makes you want to die once a week. <laughs> That's funny. I like this one. Uh... I, I already see something insanely scary and traumatizing that makes me want to die once a week. It's called my damn life! I will not. What's the... You wouldn't want to... If you want to die constantly, then you wouldn't want to be immortal anymore. Not that I'm... Not that I'm even sure that being immortal would be all that great. There's, there's too many questions, like, are you still aging? Can you still get sick? You get whatever you want. You can even bring dead dead people back. But you have to give your soul to the devil. No. Nothing is worth giving away your soul. You need that soul. There's, nothing, there's literally nothing that would be worth giving away your soul. You need it. You can tell whether someone is lying, but you can't lie yourself. That's good. That's nothing but upside. I already try to avoid lying whenever I can. Why is that so split? You want to know why that's split? You want to know why that's split? Because people are scumbags. You tell them they can't lie, and they say, Oh, what do you mean I can't lie? You're not supposed... You're already not supposed to lie. Don't you know you're not supposed to lie, genius? You're never supposed to lie. Lying is awful. Forward aerial? What does that mean? You are the author of an insanely popular work of fiction. You can observe as fans devote their life to it, and entire communities praise your genius. But you cannot take credit for it. The world thinks the world think someone else wrote it. You know that you created it, but no one else ever will. Uh no. It's not worth it. Truly not worth it. You become incredibly wealthy and attractive, but only homosexual males find you attractive. Uh, 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 oh, now this is a tricky one. Shoot. Homosexual males, huh? There are a lot of real pretty men out there, let me tell you. But I don't know, it's like I don't know if they're pretty in the way that a woman is pretty. That's one of the best upsides of being incredibly wealthy and attractive is is the is the women, all the ladies flocking to you, finding you irresistible. But incredibly wealthy is also advantageous, even if it 
Even if it means nobody would ever be attracted to you ever again. It's advantageous just to be wealthy. Um... I wonder who, like, the richest gay man in the world is. I feel like a lot of- a, a lot of rich people are straight. I don't know why I feel that. Maybe because of- <laughs> because of heterosexual privilege? That I've been told exists, and I guess probably does, now that I think about it. Elton John? Yeah, Elton John. He's famous and gay. Jeff Bezos? Is Jeff Bezos gay? Well, you know what? You know what? Why the fuck not? I'll go for it. Why not? Oh my gosh, it was unpopular. I made, I made the unpopular decision. Oh man. I think I would I think it would be worth it just to be that wealthy. And it's not as if I would be lonely because you know I would I might like always secretly yearn for a woman but I would be I would have plenty of men I'd be surrounded by men constantly and I would be rich. And that's not bad. <laughs> I said I was going to do this for 10 more minutes 17 minutes ago. The next Zelda game will be what you've always wanted but it will be the last Zelda game. Eh why not? Why not? I just clicked the button because I don't play Zelda and I never will. Well, you should check it out. It's great. Some great Zelda games. Um, the next Zelda game being what I've always wanted, it would be kind of like Breath of the Wild. It would have a giant open world that you can explore and find cool things, but it would have more traditional, more traditional dungeons. And also it would have a retro aesthetic. Um, it would have like a more Link to the Past aesthetic. Which is the aesthetic that I want them to return to. Especially since they've been going... Uh, lately they've been going in like the feudal Japanese aesthetic with with Zelda. Going in that direction. And I'm not as much a fan of that. I want it to be like... Uh, I want it to be more medieval. You get superhuman physical skill. A 20 times longer lifespan. You can change your physical appearance once. And you become filthy rich. But... You now have a cursed fedora that you cannot remove from your body. You have a fedora you can never take off? It will always make you look hideous and repulsive to everyone, including yourself, no matter how good you look. Would it be worth it to be filthy rich if everybody thinks you're ugly? Would people think I'm so hideous that they wouldn't want to be around me anymore? Because that would be bad. That wouldn't be something that you would like. It's just a fedora, though. <laughs> My lady? Yeah, exactly. I can't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, would. I, I don't want the cursed fedora. I won't take the cursed fedora. <laughs> I won't take it. I won't take it. You find the cure to baldness, but you start losing your teeth. I will not. I'd, ra I'd rather stay bald and have teeth. I guess teeth are easier to replace than hair. You can just get fake, fake teeth, but you can also get fake hair. You will become a world famous author, but people will constantly mistake you for Ozzy Osbourne. Eh, that's why not. Plot twist, you are Ozzy. You can enter into any electronic media you choose, but you can never exit the digital world. I will not. You can go to the future with the date of your choice at any time and become rich, but you become old and very ill. I will not. I'm already old and very ill. Although it could be advantageous to be rich. You always know what gift to give, but no one ever knows what gift to give you. Uh, I'll take that one. I'll do, I'll do one more. The next one will be the last one. PC becomes the most important release platform for video game publishers. All games released on consoles will also be released on the PC with great performance and graphics. That would be fucking amazing! But pirating games becomes an impossibility. There is no longer a way to pirate games on any platform. You know what? I'll take it anyway. That would be awesome. That would be great. 
You could play every Nintendo game, but it doesn't have any kind of performance issues like all the games on the Switch fucking do. It would be perfect. Okay. Oh, we've done enough of that. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, you guys. <clears throat> and you know what that means? It means... It's time to wind things down. a few good laughs my friends made a few memories and although now the fun must end I hope you see what you mean to me you're all my neighbors and allies and though it's time to part as we traverse through lows and highs, I'll keep you all inside my heart. Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long. Ba -da -dum -bum -bum. Also, I forgot to tell you, but I almost fell asleep midstream. Well, my streams are just that relaxing. I think I've gotten a few comments now that people watch these streams to fall asleep to. I'm glad that you guys, uh... You guys find them so, uh, sleep-inducing. Oh, well, that's another one in the bag. Today's stream was a lot of fucking around. Didn't really get a whole lot accomplished. But, you know, we can do streams like this, too. We can do streams like whatever we want. You know, we had a few good laughs, my friends. Made a few memories. And that's all that matters on Relax with Max. It's just the giggles and the laughs, right? But. <clears throat> I gotta go lie down. I need to relax. I've been running around all day. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now has over 10 years of updates. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators such as source files, presets, and tutorials, and the link is in the description below. And if you're not interested in the art stuff, but you'd still like to support what I do, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube and get access to exclusive emotes in the chat. That's going to be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Wednesday. I think we're going to be watching some analog horror which I'm a big fan of. More Analog Horror Wednesday. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. So long. <laughs>